Robin Air introduces its next innovation, the 34788NI. Featuring an industry-leading 98.5% recovery efficiency for standard and hybrid vehicles and fully automatic function. The new design features a larger graphical display, automatic features including leak testing, automatic refrigerant refill and oil drain inject, putting AC lubricant back into the system. The 34788NI also boasts the ability to add a printer, USB data sharing, refrigerant identifier and wireless module for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth communication. An optional refrigerant charge and oil capacities database is available for North American market vehicles. Ensure you read the owner's manual included in the accessory kit before setup. The kit also includes the owner's manual, service center listing, and calibration weight. The oil drain bottle for the 34788NI comes already installed on the unit to help make your setup process quicker and easier. Before powering up the machine, position it so the plug and the main power switch are easily accessible to the operator. Verify that vent fans on the rear of the machine are not obstructed. Lock the wheels and turn the main power switch on. It is important to note that the machine, upon powering up, is programmed to run the setup procedure as outlined in the owner's manual. The operator needs to select the language from the screen prompt displays. English is the default language. Use the up or down arrow keys to toggle through the available languages. Press the button below the green check mark to set the selected language. The license agreement is displayed for your approval, after which the machine continues with the setup mode. Next, you will need to select the unit of measure. Use the up or down arrow keys to toggle through the available units. Press the button below the green check mark to set the unit of measure. The machine is programmed at the factory for the local time zone using a 24-hour clock and date. Use the left and right arrow keys to modify the minutes displayed. Use the up and down arrow keys to modify the hours displayed. Press the button below the green check mark to set date and time. If you have the optional printer installed, you may now enter information for your printout header. Use the number pad to select the corresponding letters to create your printout header. Press the hot key below the green check mark to enter and save your header information. At this point, the machine clears its internal plumbing before proceeding with the setup. When prompted, connect the service hoses from the machine to their storage ports. Open the service couplers. The machine performs an internal clearing of its plumbing. Press the hotkey button below the green check mark to move forward with the internal vacuum process. The oil inject functionality in this machine is automatic and timing based. The viscosity of the oil being injected significantly affects the accuracy. Use the arrow keys to highlight your desired PAG oil viscosity. 46, 100, 125 or 150. Once highlighted, press the hotkey below the green arrow to accept your choice. The unit is now ready to accurately inject your chosen oil. After the tank clearing process is done, you will need to fill the internal tank. Connect the tank fill hose to the source tank fitting and open the tank valve. In order to fill the internal storage vessel, or ISV, you need to position the source tank on the rear of the machine so the liquid refrigerant is supplied to the connection. Use the strap shown here to secure the tank in place. Be careful not to block the vents on the lower right side. Adjust the ISV's fill rate to at least 3.6 kilograms or 8 pounds by using the keypad. After setting the amount of refrigerant you want the external tank to fill, Press the hotkey to make your selection. This process takes about 15 to 20 minutes. The machine stops when the designated amount of refrigerant has been transferred to the ISV or when the source tank is empty. Press the hotkey to return to the functions menu. The machine is now ready for operation. Make sure you review the service center, max information, 
and any other material included in the accessory kit. When the product activation screen appears on the display, follow the on-screen prompts to register the machine. The activation code is displayed at the top field on this screen. Write this code down as you will need to enter it on the registration website. Open a web browser on a personal computer. Enter the web address shown on the activation process screen on the machine. Enter your username and password and log on to the site. If you don't have a username or password, you'll need to register and set up your account prior to registration. Then just follow the on-screen instructions. Enter your information and the product activation key into the correct field on the web page. Once complete, click register product and the site will return an activation code. Enter the activation code into the displayed field on the 34788NI machine. Enter the activation code exactly as it was displayed. Capitalization is required. Press the hotkey again and you should see on the display screen that the machine has been activated. Record the product activation code on a piece of paper and file it in a secured place for your records. Before starting a recovery process, you need to empty the oil drain bottle. Select the recovery function by pressing the recovery button on the control panel. Press the hotkey below the green check mark to start the manual recovery. After the oil drain is complete, the machine displays a summary of gas recovered. The amount of oil that was recovered from the machine is the amount of new oil that should be charged into the AC system after the evacuation is complete. Dispose of used oil according to government safety regulations. The recovery process is now complete. To perform a manual vacuum, ensure that the service hoses are properly connected to the vehicle and the coupler valves are open. On the control panel, press vacuum. Entering a VIN number is optional. You may accept the default evacuation time or enter the desired time by using the number keys. Press the hotkey to select. This screen appears asking if you want to save the service record or not. Press the hotkey below the green check mark to proceed or use the arrow keys to change your selection. The machine will pull a vacuum on the AC system for the programmed amount of time. During the vacuum process, the machine may perform a leak test on the machine if you have previously selected that function. This will take five minutes. The machine stops when the specified amount of time has elapsed. At this point, you may print out the vacuum information by pressing the print icon at this screen or press escape and return to the main menu. In order to do a manual charge procedure, First connect the service hoses to the machine service ports and open the couplers. Press charge. Entering a VIN number is optional. Press the hotkey to skip this step. At this screen you may enter the charge amount, the amount of oil to charge, and the side you want to charge. If you inject oil, you may only charge at the high side. Press the hotkey to select. The machine performs a charge. Press the hotkey again to begin clearing the hoses. This prepares the machine for the next service. The automatic function allows the technician to program an automatic recovery, vacuum, leak test, and charge sequence. The user may choose to skip any step in the automatic procedure during the programming. A totally automatic sequence may take up to 35 minutes to complete. Start the process by connecting the machine service hoses to the vehicle's service ports and opening the coupler valves. Press Automatic. You will first be asked to select vacuum time. Use the numbered keys to enter new vacuum time, or if you wish to accept the default time, or if you are done with your selection.
Press the down arrow key to select the vacuum leak test. One is the default setting. To toggle, press the I.O. button on the control panel. Use the down arrow key. Go to the charge amount entry field. Use the arrow keys and numeric keypad to enter the desired charge amount. Use the arrow key to maneuver down to the charge path selection. High side is default. To change, press the HSLS key on the control panel. Press the hot key to proceed. If you wish to save this service, use the arrow key and toggle down to New and save the record. If you don't wish to save the record, press the hot key. If no pressure is detected, the machine proceeds to the next program mode, vacuum or charge. Before attempting a filter change, please ensure that the high side and low side hoses are disconnected from the vehicle. Select Filter Maintenance from the Setup menu or when the machine prompts. When prompted, select OK to change the filter. Select Escape to resume using the machine. Use the keypad to enter the serial number that appears on the new filter and select OK. The machine then tells you to turn the unit off. Remove the four screws holding the shroud. Remove the oil bottle. Hang the shroud on the back of the machine by placing it in the detents as shown here. Remove the filter by turning it counterclockwise. Look at the new filter and verify that the O-rings are lubricated and correctly located in the grooves. Install the new filter by threading it clockwise into place. Verify the filter is positioned correctly and tighten the filter. Replace the shroud. Replace and tighten the four screws. Replace the oil reservoir and you are done. At Robin Air, we strive to design and implement new products that employ new technologies to help you get the job done better and faster. We hope you can see how the new Robin Air 34788 NI machine can help you quickly and efficiently streamline the AC service work in your shop. For more information about the 34788 NI or any of our other products, call or click on www.robinair.com.